hello welcome to my channel you are listening to and watching the nasty nail tech here on youtube i thank you for tuning in to my channel watching my videos for subscribing if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so as i have a goal to hit 100 and i would appreciate it i appreciate those of you who take the time to watch and to like um so thank you don't forget to subscribe like and share and comment so today i have another aliexpress nail haul just a few items i was in need of that i am going to show you guys um if you're wondering what's on my nails my nails have a very thin layer of poly gel that was left over from a set of poly gel nails i had most of it I filed away and then I went in with the Madame Glam base coat. Um, I forget what color that is. It's not Malaysia. It might be Vietnam. I went in with the Madame Gel rubber base coat, which is a little bit thicker. And then what you see here is just some gel reflective polish. And all of that is um, transfer foil. So I just trying to keep my nails short I use the gelish um, nail strengthener for the base on my nails I'm just trying to build them back up because I've been pretty hard on them the past six to eight months putting on tips and acrylic and gel and taking them off and put them back on the same day and I'm noticing some thin spots and just trying to give my nails a little bit of a break so that's what's on there so let's see what we're going to start with first i have some beauty though glitter pots um i actually ordered these thinking that they were um chrome powder and or the i've seen it in videos where there's it looks like glitter but it goes on like chrome powder and you can rub it in i thought it was also that and i was I think I was wrong so these are glitter flakes and then the other ones I do believe are um, like holographic iridescent um, glitter flakes as well but I can't wait to use them so these come in several colors I can't remember how much I paid for them but AliExpress it wasn't very much um, so they come in this yellow there's one that's a green base you can see there's pink and then silver with the lavender oops there we go very small pots very small so just enough for you to play around with um this one came in a set of six and then i have one that has like a blue and a pink and then this has a little bit more gold in it and i'm making a mess of course there we go very pretty so i can't wait to use those in some nail art if you're wondering what i have on my hand it is like a compression sleeve but it's supposed to be hemp um, infused i have wrist problems from typing doing nails holding my ipad um what else but my wrist has just been killing me and this usually makes it feel better so i have another set of six these are very pretty glitter flakes so it's really, really fine glitter, and then there's some hexagon in there as well. If you want to know the, um, if you want the link, just let me know, and I will post the link below. I'm gonna open this one up so you can see. It's very pretty. Move my lamp over. Lots of fine glitter, and then some hexagons. And I love the little container. The gold is just so cute. I love it. Here's a blue one. Very pretty. And I'm making a glitter mess right here. Um, gosh, those look a lot alike. But they're different. This one's lighter, as I would say. This one is like a pinkish lavender-like color love these little containers even when the glitter's gone i'm going to keep these containers for something 
Let me see if I can find and just to move the glitter around a little bit. Not too much. And there's not a whole lot in here, but it's definitely enough to probably do a set of nails. Not like full coverage, because that would take too much glitter. But if you're just doing a little ombre or adding a little glitter to the nail, it's definitely enough for that. Isn't it pretty? It's like a pinkish lavender type color. Um, this one's more blue. Very pretty. And you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I love, love glitter. This one's gold. Oh, that's really pretty. Can't wait to use that. There's some fine blue glitter and gold, and then there's some blue hexagons. That is so pretty. Let's see it. Okay, and then the last pack is a pack of eight. And these are very similar in color. And if you guys know the proper name of, I guess it's chrome powder or is it glitter? It looks like glitter, but you rub it into your nails and it goes on like chrome powder. That's what I thought I was ordering. But this is what I got, which I'm happy with. So this is a pack of eight. Some similar colors. I'm not going to open every one because I got some other stuff to get to. Lots of prettiness. Another gold one. Like yellow and blue. Green, maybe. It's like a color shift in that glitter. Now this one's really light. Let's see. Mm. I think this is the lightest one I've come across. Mix it up a little bit. And it came packaged well, so this was a good seller. Like, there was barely any glitter out of the pots. Everything was sealed up pretty tight. So I look to that when I'm ordering. As you know, AliExpress, some of the sellers, they just throw stuff in there like whatever. There's two more. I just wiped this off before the video and now it's full of glitter again. It was glitter on it from before. Like I said, I'm not going to open them all because it just takes too long. So yeah, I'll definitely do a video with these glitters. Next, I'm also going to do a video with these. I have some builder gel. Builder in a bottle, which I love. The only builder in a bottle I think I've tried is um, IBD, the clear one. So this is Rosalind. I got this from AliExpress. Uh, the color is A324, and it's like a light pink. The quality seems really good. I can't wait to try it. It's a little thick. I didn't roll the bottle, but you can see the color. Very natural, nice nail bed color. You know I love Builder, and sometimes they're just so thick when they're in the little pots, and sometimes it's hard to get, if you just need a little bit for the nail bed color, it's just hard to get that sometimes. This one is A323, and this is like a lavender purple-like color, and these are all Builders. They're pretty. You guys know I love purple and blue. It's my favorite colors. And it's Rosalind A323. I tried Rosalind because one, when I looked for builders and builder in a bottle, I don't think that many came up on AliExpress. But also, I have fallen in love with the Rosalind Poly Gel. Very nice product. Very similar to Mercart. Uh, this one is clear A322. This is just a clear builder and I'm sorry actually it's a little milky just a tad bit milky but for the most part I think it's going to come out clear I'm going to do a video with these when I swatch them I'm sorry I'm shaking my table which is shaking my camera 
and the last one is another like more of a rosy colored pink color very pretty but just doing a natural color for your nail beds like I'll probably be wearing these um, once I get all the poly gel off my nails that will probably be the next thing I wear all right, so that was those. Like I said, that was Rosalind. Got those from AliExpress. If you want the links, just send me a um, comment below, and I'll get those links for you. So next, I'm excited about these. So I got some nail buffers, and I think it's like... Oh, how many? Yeah, no. I feel like it's about, it's a hundred or two hundred, I forget. <clears throat> and these are the mini ones. And I got these because I enjoy the mini ones. I have some other ones that are mini. They cost way too much. I think they were flowery I got off of Amazon but I do notice that especially with like toenails and people who have short natural nails like I'm not using that much of a buffer so when you have a buffer this size it's like I'm really not using that buffer maybe if I'm doing acrylic or um, gel or something I'm doing long, like extensions but when I'm doing natural nails and they're pretty short I'm only using a little bit of it so yeah so I got this whole pack and they just break away. They come in individual packs in here. So I figure I'll be stocked up for quite some time. And that's going to come in handy. And they're just like 100, 180. So happy to have those. Sorry for all the noise. Okay. And these. I'm really happy about them. These are iridescent hearts. I do have some hearts, but what I love is these are tiny. Um, so when um, February come if I need hearts I have hearts I have red those are so pretty and I like how tiny they are because sometimes when you get like the sequin hearts in other shapes like this sometimes they're a little, a little big and I like to have them a little smaller because sometimes I do like to wear my nails this short and I want to still be able to decorate them without feeling like the decoration is just taking over too much so they're pretty so I have purple I have this greenish yellow color beautiful and these, it's a nice little bag. So I'm just going to keep them in this bag instead of trying to transfer them over to something else. This is like a champagne type color. It's so pretty. Um, this is like a pink lavender color. It's so pretty. I love it. I'll make some beautiful nails with this. Gotta have purple. One of my favorite colors, right? Look at that. It's going to be so pretty. Gotta have royal blue, favorite color, sorority color. Ah, look at that. So pretty. And then this is like a rose. Like a rose gold type color. So pretty. Oh, I'm about to do some nails. Silver. Isn't that nice? black look at the color shift oh, I love it love it look at that there's purple there's green there's blue in there that is so pretty if you want the link just comment below I have another set of black okay what's the difference why do I have two these are different I think they look different so I have two sets of black this one has more of a sheen or something on it I guess but they both come they have like different colors like this is almost not a sheen almost like this one's more matte or something oh, both pretty and of course I got some pink we're thinking about Valentine's Day early 
and they're pretty. And I got these. These little beads. These are so cute. This was a free gift. I so appreciate you guys who send free gifts to people who buy your nail products. Isn't that cute? I don't have I don't think I have any of these. Well, I might have something that was really old, similar to this, but I've never just sought out to buy them. They came in like a container full of other stuff. Beautiful. Love those. Yes. This I'm really excited about. So, I needed some more nail files. And I got some. Again. Free gift. That is absolutely adorable. Cause I use it for my five-year-old niece. That's so cute. Okay. So I got the metal nail file with the replacement um, adhesive that adheres to the nail file. So you take the grit, the sandpaper part. Isn't that nice? I like to buy nail files in bulk also seeing people with the metal nail files that cost a little bit more and apparently those are really good too and you can just wash them and sanitize them but I like the idea of having bulk and you're supposed to peel this back if I can get it back and these are 100 180 I did believe yeah and you can buy in whatever grit you want like if you want them to be all 100 you can do that and you stick it on like that this is the 100 grit i can tell and the other pack is 180 and voila love it looking forward to it for my acrylic and gel yes sister gonna be fouling like i said i got these two packs and you can buy i don't know i guess it's probably about 50 in here maybe I got the 180 and the 100. You can buy whatever number you want. This is what I chose. So I'm excited about that. And when you finish using it, you just peel that off. Throw it away. I will still sanitize this, spray it at least. Um, and that's it. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited about my nail file. So I'm happy about that for sure. I find a place to place, put everything. Okay. And then, that's it. Somebody come and dump my trash. Okay, last but not least. So these are from all different stores, but what they did was they combined everything together. I guess because I ordered them around the same time. I have some new implements because I really needed some new cuticle pushers. They come in this rainbow like color. Love this. Okay, that doesn't feel very sharp, but it'll get the job done. And then we have that under nail cleaner. Great, especially for like toenails. So I have that one. And it comes in this cute little case. And another, you know, you can push to regium. Just a dead cuticle. You can push back like that. I thought that would be sharper. It's kind of dull. I guess that's how it's supposed to be, but it's still going to work. But it's just a little dull. And another pusher and then a bigger cuticle. You can kind of scrape the, gently scrape the nail bed underneath with that. And then yet another one. So yeah, I'm set. Clean under the nail gently scrape across the nail if you're getting dead cuticle up so yes i am i can't get these to go in the little slots i'm happy with those now it's a set of four yeah because i need this. i haven't bought any pushers and the pushers i have are so old so i thought you know what let's make my job a little bit easier and get some new pushers that just doesn't want to go in here. Um, that is it. That is everything. I made a total mess on my mat that I had just cleaned off for this video. But that's fine. Hey, thank you for watching. I'll give you a look at everything that I have. I sure forgot. 
and the buffers and the nail files and the glitter I thank you for watching please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe god bless and i'll see you in the next video